There's one more weird, wacky shape tool that I want to show you here in Flash. This guy is called the Poly Star Tool, and what he's going to let you do is create either polygons or stars, hence the name Poly Star. I don't know. Personally, I think Stargon sounds like a cooler name for a tool than Polystar. But anyway, that's just me. So he's buried underneath your set of shape tools. So go ahead and click on your shape tool fly out there. Go ahead and grab the Stargon tool there. There he is right there. And, you know, a lot of the same settings apply here. So we're going to keep this exercise pretty short and sweet. Go ahead and set a fill color and a stroke color. That's all sort of the same stuff that we've seen all the way along here, right? The properties panel, same stuff applies there. The thickness of your line, the stroke height there, you can set that and the type of line, the style of the line. There is an options button here. I'm going to talk about that in just a sec, but it's kind of easy stuff to start creating some polygons, right? No big deal. Okay, easy stuff. Go nuts. I'm not going to spend too much more time showing you how to click and drag out polygons. Hold down shift if you want to draw from the center there your, your polygons, that kind of thing. It's pretty easy, right? But now this mysterious options button, go ahead and click on him and that'll bring you into the tool settings dialog box and we can choose the style or the type of object that we want to create, either a polygon or a star. And then we can also set the number of sides and then specifically for stars, we can set the point size there. So for our polygons, the default here is five. Maybe I want to change that to, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll change that to eight. And then I'll click on OK, and now I'm creating octagons, eight-sided polygons, right? Or this is a great way to create triangles by dropping down the number of sides to just three, and now you can belt out some triangles, right? You know, I always find a need for triangles, oftentimes in navigation arrows and things like that, and there's no triangle tool. How the heck am I supposed to draw a triangle? Well, this is probably the easiest way to, to go about doing it anyway. So there you go. It's really all about this, this options button here. And, you know, forgive me if I'm zipping along here. I'm just trying to keep this short and sweet for you because it is pretty easy stuff. I'm back inside the, the tool settings dialog box there. I clicked on options. I'm going to flip over now to a star and I'm going to create a five-sided star. Click on OK and let it rip there on the stage, something like that, right? So... You can experiment with this for a little while if you like. You can monkey around a little bit, maybe adjust the star point size there a little bit if you like. See what that does. I think it's pretty straightforward stuff. Now, something like this, let me clear this away here. A star like that would be great if you have some kind of, uh, maybe you're promoting a new product. You want to put some text across there, new or now available or on sale or something like that, right? But anyway, there you go. There's your polygon or polystar tool, I should say. I was about to say stargon. There's me, right? But anyway, there you are, your polystar tool.